All right, all right, all right. Welcome back, Chaps and Chapettes, to our first ever vlog. Look, 25,000 of you lot are listening to my podcast, the Chaps Chap Podcast, and you're all asking, can you vlog it? So this is what you're getting. You're getting the vlog. You're hearing about the partying, the rock and rolling, and the traveling, and this week is no different. So currently, we are about to go from Belfast to Dublin, from Dublin to Paris, and then we're staying in Paris for two days, hopefully a big party on Tuesday, and then after that, we are traveling from Paris to the Netherlands, from the Netherlands to London, then from London to Newcastle for a business meeting on Sunday or Monday, depending how hungover we are from the Saturday night. So yes, chaps and chap that's what's going on. I'm running slightly late. I haven't packed. I need to shower. need to get changed. So let's get that sorted now. What are we thinking of the new trim, by the way? Nice and short. Got the sides all shaved. Looking fresh for Paddy. I haven't unpacked from Durham yet. Look at this. Some girl threw her pink gin and tonic all over me the other night and called me a Tory. But imagine I did that to her. I'd literally be on the news. Ruined my lovely white Oxford cotton Ralphie shirt. What we're bringing is a pair of beige chinos, navy chinos. Then we're going to bring all the sportsman shirts, a few different colours. We're going to bring an extra wee mallard knit, one of the new releases. Then we're going to bring a pair of swim shorts for the hotel sauna. Then, last but not least, the most important thing, the equipment for our podcast. Right, I had a meeting there now. I'm actually running late. I don't know if I'm going to make it to the bus on time. Got my bag and stuff. I think the taxi man is outside right now. So here we go. Let's get the parry, hopefully. Taxi. All right, mate. Yeah. Connell. Oh, hopefully we make it in time here. Fingers crossed. I think we've made it to the bus. I don't know if I've got a ticket, to be honest, but we're about to find out. I think my friend's buying me one. So far, so good. Made it onto the bus. Still, hopefully get the flight yeah. in case it's not cancelled. Dragon will be cancelled? Yeah. Nah, wind's been bad, like. Not this one. Cheers, mate, thank you very much. Right, bus sorted, we've got to the airport. We've got a few hours before we have to head to Paris. So we've got to get stuck into some food and beers in the business lounge. Not been checked for once, straight to the business lounge for a few drinks. So it looks like everything's went smoothly. No cancellation, so she'll be in Paris by the end of the night. Bonsoir, bonsoir. Look at you pen, Tetris, you big gimp. Well, we are officially in the French airport leaving now. However, we've got one small issue. We uh, forgot to uh, book a hotel. So hopefully you're going to try and get the same hotel ASAP if there's rooms available. Otherwise, we're going to be homeless in France. This guy is just waiting at the door of the airport and <laughs> asked us to get into his taxi. We'll find out very quickly if he's real or not. And all the taxis are going this way. And he's taking us that way. We're going back into the airport again. And then going down the stairs. I don't know what's going on. Where's he taking us? Here's the car. One thing for certain, not a taxi. Lad, this isn't a taxi, like, is it? This is not a taxi, man. Bomb? <laughs> He's so kidnapped us. Here he comes. Far. How far, far away is the uh, 15 minutes? 15 minute drive. I wonder what the bill's gonna be like. 35, 40. Dragon. I'm gonna go 60. Do you have the seatbelt, like, to be honest? Cash or she? Yeah, I get you cash. Hundred, please. How much? A hundred. Yeah. No chance. A hundred euro. I'll give you fifty. No, it's not fifty, so I cannot do fifty. A hundred euros. Oh, sure. I get one for thirty-five euros. No, I can make eighty if you have made a like that. Not, not a chance. No, I'm not giving not, you. It's not possible, sir. Mate, you're running about with a Dior jumper on. That's why. No, for, 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 for twenty, for 20, minute, 20 minute minutes. Yeah, yeah, but it's 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 price of the night. It's no way, Jose. Yeah, no. Let's get the 15, can I? 50 you euro oh, no, cash, no, mate. No tax, nothing. Yeah. You're flying. There's no way else to be. Uber, 36 I'm, I'm euros. Uber is different. Uber, Uber is 36 euros. I'm not Uber. Uber is provided. It's different. Hi. I'm not Uber. I'm not service Uber. You cannot compare. Right. Put it on the card. 80 euros on card. Why well, you don't want to give cash? Because. Why well, you don't want to give cash? Because you're too expensive and I need to put it through the business. Yeah, I got the battery now. It's finished my battery, sorry. Not finished, yeah. I can see the light I, on it. I give you... No, it's finished, I can give you a receipt. No problem for your company. 
100 euro he tried to charge us for a taxi i was saying this is gonna happen 100 euro it wasn't even a 20 minute drive i've got to the hotel now gonna drop the bags off that was actually quite hostile sort of worried if he's gonna pull out a gun or something the guy was so suspect Two people? Oh Jesus, mate, we here we're, we're getting cozy tonight, son. <laughs> it was meant to be two singles beds, but uh, I think he thought we were lovers. I'm out of your league, John, anyway. You should be lucky to have me in bed. Turns out we did actually have the right room. It's just that uh, it's a sofa bed and a double bed. Living the luxury over there. I got a prison cell bed. Right, so 100 euro taxi, sleeping in my prison bed, and that is an eventful start to our France trip. Although, the last time we were in France was an awful lot worse. That story is for another time. But yes, chaps and chaps, it's day one done. Going to head to Hague, because we've got a big day tomorrow. We're going to go to the oldest Ralph Lauren in Paris, which is going to be unbelievable. Hopefully my friends are working. So I will see you in the morning. Ciao. Morning chaps and chapettes. I had actually a really nice sleep in the prison bed, I'm not gonna lie, but I've woke up and my eyes a bit dodgy looking, so God knows what that's about. But yes, I'm gonna film a chap chat episode right now and then hopefully we're gonna get into the centre of Paris and go to the first ever Ralph Lauren shop. I know this is gonna sound really, really sexist, but I do think girls are made to cook and clean. I think it's their job on this earth is to cook and clean because if you think about biologically how they're made, right, their feet are smaller which means they can stand closer to the kitchen counter. Chaps Chat Film is gonna go out today in today's time, so probably yesterday for you guys. Turns out we needed a reservation for the sauna, which didn't happen the last time. So we're just gonna go get some food and then hopefully head into the city center. Currently in the mall, but we're trying to figure out what we're doing tomorrow. So I'm probably gonna to go to Cornegan. Ward is going to go back to Dublin. Nico and him are going on like a good morning breakfast show or some that so they're on tv in the morning in dublin and i want to go party to be honest i don't really want to go so trying to figure out how i'm going to get there i think a train is probably going to be the best option or a bus but the bus is like eight hours it's only like 20 euro though so we're trying to figure it out now true french cuisine there french fries french mcdonald's and now we're going to go back to the hotel and to start drinking, to be honest. Hopefully we make it to the, the Ralph Lauren shop, but if we don't, it is what it is. This weather is absolutely rotten. I'm having major issues with the travelling at the minute. Essentially, I need to be at a birthday party at 6 o'clock on Saturday in London, but I want to go to the Netherlands for a few days. However, there are very little flights going from the Netherlands to London at that time, so don't know whether the Netherlands is going to be possible. I just don't want to go home right now, to be honest. Excellent, excellent news. So if any of you want to know what my life is like, this is literally it. It is all over the place at the moment. I was meant to go to the Netherlands tomorrow, as I discussed at the start. However, my friend, my like, literally one of my best friends, Le Doc Baron, is about an hour away from me in France. He's got an exam. He's currently training to be a lawyer. He's got an exam tomorrow and the next day. So I'm going to arrive tomorrow, wait one day in his apartment. He's going to smash his last exam and then we are going to go party like crazy on Friday. Then I'll go to London. I've downed two of these. He's still on his first one there. He's still on his first oh, one. The f these are like... I know a lot of you guys wanted me to go to the, the oldest rap floor in Paris. But we got drunk instead. So that's the lesson about life, to be honest. Like, be careful what you wish for. And sometimes just don't trust everybody, you know? And all, to be honest, like, most people who are watching this are probably gonna laugh because they're gonna realize that this is what they expected me to go out and get drunk instead of going and doing what I'm meant to be doing. But do you know what? I wouldn't do anything different. And also, f Lauren, they owe me loads of money and they owe me new clothes and they stole my old clothes. So buy the remnants instead. We have to move hotel because John got us kicked out of that last one there. What do you think about John? <laughs> New hotel it is. So it looks like a nice little hotel. Don't know what's going on here, but it looks quite funky. Cute wee two single bed. Two cute wee seats lots the TV too. Don't know where we're going yet. Well, if we're just going to do bars or clubs, but I'm feeling clubs. He's feeling gay bars. Do not tell me this doesn't look like the fake taxi taxi. Even the logo almost looks the same. Lucky we've got cash, otherwise we'd have to pay that way. So many places to go actually, but like everything's so quiet at the same time.
We just got hit with a 110 pound bill for fucking four shots. Oh, this is perfect. Yeah, he did because that's what happens when you play with the big boys. He's not he, he's like, he can't stand straight. John, walk in a straight line. <laughs> he's had one vodka and he's drinking it. What the f is that about? It's great, guys. Shall we, Lou? Heavy hand, you wee and we're gonna go clubbing now. That is what has to happen. Nightclubs meant to be down there. Not even bloody open. Google Maps gaslit me and thinking this club's open. Me and Ward are bloody stuck with an empty nightclub. Paddy, you've let me down big time. I was meant to be in the Ravel Orange shop today, but set up in the kebab shop. That looks like it's the end of tonight. As you can probably tell by the look of me and the sound, it's been a long bloody night but we're about to go back into the hotel it is approximately 7 a.m and to be honest i still cannot believe that i paid 110 euros for four shots and one gin and tonic but it is what it is hopefully gonna get into the hotel now, hotel room and just hit the head because tomorrow we've got a big day of going to see the dock so good night and to see you in the morning ciao all right, chaps and chapettes, as you can see, I am stuck in a random petrol station in the middle of France right now. I'm out in the countryside. So that being said, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, because the next vlog is going to be crazy by the looks of things. I am by no means in the right part of town. Pretty dodgy part of Paris right now.